In this video I will show how to fix speaker protection relay problem of an amplifier which is around 20 to 25 year old and this speaker protection relay problem is quite common with uh, home theater amplifiers of this age and uh, it's quite easy to Diagnose because bad relay may cause one of the speaker channels go totally silent and Usually this appears quite randomly and it may last few seconds and then the Speaker channel is back on but over the time it might be possible that uh, one speaker channel is totally gone and uh, for example, this selector knob is our friend when we diagnose the relay problem because uh, as you can hear the relays are making quite a loud noise when we are selecting the channel we like to listen and right now these clicks sound the same so channel A and B are uh, having the same click sound but if the relay is broken then this click would sound uh, much quieter so it randomly appears with this unit I hope we can hear it now now you can hear another channel it's a uh, channel A it's not that loud as the B but now randomly it's starting to click louder so this is a clear sign that the relay which con un controls the channel A is uh, well almost broken and we should change that next we need to locate the relay so we can check the type of the relay so we can uh, go and get the new relay which is exactly the same and to locate the relay we just use the knob and listen the sound and we can actually listen that the relay sound is coming underneath here there's those blue boxes and that's our relays and to get there we just need to remove this PCB right here so then we have access to the relays and good thing about this Sony I discovered that there's a label in each PCB to tell what it's what it's for for example uh, digital which means that because this device has digital inputs and outputs this PCB is controlling that section then there's a PCB re recording to the tuner so because this has a FM uh, transmitter receiver thing then there's a volume the our master volume own PCB for that then mm, there's a main label for this big PCB under this one and that's where our relays are so next thing to do we remove this and remove the bottom cover so we can see the PCB underneath and uh, solder these relays out from the PCB
but it's still quite uh, difficult to locate the relay pins from this PCB because PCB is quite large. Uh, one trick we can do is use uh, powerful flashlight and we can point the light to the relays and relays will cast a shadow to the PCB and light will go through uh, around the relays. So as we can see there's three shadows next to each other and there's a, actually a pattern that can be seen from the pins. So that's where our relays are and we can double check that it's correct. So our light is now on the relays here and we can see the relays or the shadow of the relays here. Now everything is back together in just in reverse order as I did earlier. So new relays in, solder it in, then installing the PCB back, uh, checking out the cables and now the stereo is running and uh, first volume to the zero and we can just listen to clicks. Both channels are sounding the same. So now we can put the channel A first. There's some music there. And channel B. Yeah, both channels working. And of course there's an A plus B option, so checking the both channels, yeah. 